It's January 2nd. This video today we're gonna, we're gonna talk about is about removing unripe figs, usually by um, end of September for Pacific North, Northwest where I live um, in Washington. Um, we remove all unripe figs. They, they need a certain amount of time to ripen and if by that time you still see you know them hanging on the the tree it's most likely not going to ripe and it just takes out the energy from the tree as well as right now we're in <clears throat> February um, this is what you see when there's too much rain you can see Oops, sorry these are the fruit these are main crop this variety is called Nigaroni so it's very similar to VBD it has two crops and this is from the main crop not ripening means in this entire tree you have main crop ripening but not 100% of the main crop ripening so here in Pacific Northwest, we love Breva crop, like Desert King, because in general, 100% of the Breva crop will ripen, so you can eat all of it. And even um, when the main crop requires loss, uh, it just doesn't, we don't eat that. The, the Breva crop is just too productive that the, the main crop dropping or not ripening doesn't really matter. But here, let's come back to VBD. This main crop right here, you can see. Let me go close. Oops, right there. You can see. That's a fungus right there. Aww. So you can see it starts right here and it goes here. And like I was talking in my other video on a rainy day, poor quality video, no lighting. But <laughs> I do it when I can. So this part's going to be orange and depending where if you had a lot of these fruit knots that remain and fungus all over this whole branch this is like I don't know, 16 inch or something whole branch will be trimmed up so once it has that fungus it will oh here I can see a little something right there you can see something not very healthy right there as well as this one, ew, it's gross. But when you have such a large tree, that's a lot of time consuming to go pick off all these fruit. So even if, um, it might be just easier because you're, you're, you're just gonna do the pruning anyways to let it do, does this thing, anything that drops and then you still have a few of these and then you just prune the branch off. That's why we don't do it because it's very exhausting to do it when it's an in-ground tree. The tree's very big. Oh, that's a lot of work. But my trees are potted, so they're much smaller, so I can actually do it in a little bit particular and get every single one of it. But if it's an in-ground tree, it's big. It's a lot of work. So these are the Breva crops that will ripen. Um, let me remember mid-August for this variety so you can see there. <clears throat> so just wanted to make a quick video about uh, this I know I'd made a video a year ago or so about picking on right fruit but you know I tried to improve on it and obviously I have a better demo this time to show you so you kind of see what I'm, I'm talking about and to me disease is very important I just have an itch to trim them off or do something but I finally got my gloves on because in the you know I've been pruning some of these branches and it makes me itch with the latex right here very allergic to this type of latex even when picking fruit uh, itch to, of death so you need to wear gloves. It also prevents disease. 
So I hope you enjoy this short video uh, why I recommend not leaving unripe fruits on the tree. This is what happened over winter.